Welcome to Studio Cloud's webinar on how to manage or how to set up uh, your email account using Studio Cloud. Um, as always, uh, we want to give the disclaimer that if uh, we come out with features pretty quickly, so if you see anything in the video that is different than uh, what is in your version of Studio Cloud, just refer to the written documentation because we always keep that up to date. Whereas sometimes the uh, webinar videos take a little bit of time to get reproduced uh, with the new changes. So the first place we're going to start off with is we're going to go to uh, Settings in Studio Cloud and then under the General Settings tab, and then uh, we're going to click on the uh, Manage Email Accounts right here. And this is where you can add as many email accounts as you want to Studio Cloud. Um, only one, you can see these columns, you can put a name for what you want to call the email account, then you actually enter the email address, and then the uh, whether you want the email account to be, de be the default one, which means that when you go to click on to send an invoice or email or communicate with a customer, it will automatically select that email address to be the one that it's set to go out as, but you can change it. And verified means that you did verify the email address is working as you, as expected. So let's go ahead and come in here. We're going to call this one uh, Studio Cloud Email. And uh, we set up a Gmail one just for this uh, webinar. So first of all, you want to just put a name here just so you can remember it. Perhaps uh, it would be easier to say Gmail email address or whatever you want to. Um, one would be sufficient. You can have as many as you want. And then we're going to make this one the default one so that, once, as I mentioned earlier, when you open a window, it will automatically default to you using this email address. We're not going to check the email account as verified yet. And we're now going to go to the outgoing mail options. Um, there's a little question mark here that's going to open a window. So as we open it, and I have it another uh, browser that I'm not going to show right now. But that will take you to a, uh, a t uh, tutorial that has all sorts of settings, current settings for different email providers. We try to keep that one up to date. Um, in, in addition, it also lists any type of uh, issues with email providers that Studio Cloud may have. Some email providers don't support all the functionality and so we can't support them. So just click on that link if you don't know your settings and uh, the article there will provide you with more information. Um, the first thing we're going to do is set up the SMTP server, which uh, SMTP stands for Simple Mail, Mail Transfer Protocol. It's something that uh, has been used um, since the 1980s to send emails. And so we're, the email one for Gmail is that one. And the port number, and there's lots of different port numbers. Um, we're going to be using this one for Gmail, but um, port 25, port 587, or any number, um, they can do they can do any number for that one. It's just uh, those are the standard ones they usually do. Um, and then uh, we'll move on to the type of encryption, and we're going to use SSL. And this just means that when you communicate with the from your computer over the internet to the SMTP server, it's going to be encrypted so that uh, nobody can see your username and password. And uh, for this, for the username, Gmail requires that you enter your email address that we entered on the first page and then the password. Now what we're going to do next is send a test email address. We're going to send it um, to an email account that's different than the original one. Uh, the reason is is that sometimes email providers if you send an email from one from an email account to the exact same account they automatically put it in the spam folder or they sometimes don't show it up at all. So it's best just to test it by sending it to a different email address and uh, we're going to go ahead and just send this one. Right now it's connecting and it already did it already but th what happened right there is it connected to the SMTP server which is a, a computer or computers out on the internet and said here is the message and uh, that we want to send. It first checks to see whether your the username and password is correct and it says okay here's the message and gives it to the server and the server then sends it off to the other um, to wherever you sent the email address. So essentially that your message gets bounced all through the internet and the first place it starts is inside of that SMTP server. I'm going to verify that we uh, received that email address and we did in fact receive that email address which means I'm going to go back to general settings and click email account as verified. So we've now done everything we need to do to set up an email address. It's ready to go um, and uh, we can go ahead and save that. And there you go. 
uh, you will need to have, if you're planning on using Cloud Alerts, which is uh, included in the Cloud Booster Employee Boost subscription, that Cloud Alerts automatically sends out email reminders as well as the text messages and postcards. Um, but for the context of setting up your email address, if you're planning on using uh, Cloud Alerts, you need to have the email address marked as verified. Uh, it will not send out any, any emails um, if it's not marked as verified. And also, it sends out all emails through a default, through your default one. So if you have like 10 email addresses, only one of them will be the default one. And Cloud Alerts will use that one to send out emails. Now, a lot of people have uh, issues with uh, sending emails out. Now, there's many reasons why. Um, if you're connecting from your computer to uh, um, the SMTP server, and there's any type of internet issues, you will not be able to send out that email. If um, that SMTP server is having issues, meaning it may be maybe offline, uh, it's fairly rare for that to happen to Gmail, um, but, if, but if you have a, a different internet service provider um, that, is, that provides your email address, there's a possibility that their server may be down. So there's, uh, we do have support articles on this one, and uh, this is one of those issues that we uh, at Studio Cloud uh, work a lot with customers with, and uh, it's because it's so many different variables. Um, I did mention at the very start that the SMTP server has been around since the uh, 1980s, and it's actually evolved over time, but they've always tried to be, it's called backwards compatible, or they try to keep it so that old email clients work with new ones, and so it's, it gets really quite, um, dicey when you're working with all these different servers. Um, so it's just important that when you, uh, if you have any issues, verify first of all that you have the right SMTP server, that you have the right port, and sometimes they'll support two or three, so try the different ones. Verify also that you have the right encryption. If your SMTP server does not support encryption, that means that you will not be able to log in with encryption. So you'll get error messages if you have, if any of these settings on this page are wrong, it's not gonna work. Usernames, oftentimes, are email addresses. Sometimes they're not. It depends on your um, your email provider. On the rare occasion, there's we have this button down here: negotiation style, active negotiation, passive negotiation. There are some rare error messages here. I just clicked the bottom the button there on the very bottom negotiation style, and it says that. If you receive error message 554 SMTP synchronization or though, if you receive that error message, you have an unusual SMTP server that requires that you're, you do um, passive communication as opposed to active, which means we essentially connect to that SMTP server and we cannot, the Studio Cloud program can, can't say anything when it connects. It has to wait till that server talks. Otherwise, that server will uh, not uh, let us uh, send emails through it. This is very rare, so um, generally speaking, unless you see those two error messages, make sure, and by default, it's always set to active. So just uh, just don't change it to passive unless you see those two error messages. Um, that pretty much covers everything we do, we do with regards to setting up your email address. Uh, it's fairly easy if you have the right settings. If not, it can uh, become a little bit more complicated and oftentimes uh, it takes a while. If, you have, if you're a, a paid for, subscriber of Studio Cloud uh, and you have any issues, feel free to contact our live chat or email, um, support at studiocloud.com. If you're um, a free user, please go to our forum and we can help track down what could be the issue. All right, uh, that concludes our webinar and uh, we hope you have a great day.